Welcome to part 4 of Commercial Ice Machines. Here we have basic troubleshooting. So when water is frozen in the evaporator, freezing cylinder, minerals from the water are left and they become ice flaker. And the auger and evaporator surface has to be clean and free of scars and score marks. And if the bearing fails, it has touched the evaporator or freezing cylinders, and the service needs and the uh, and the surface needs to be replaced. And the ice flakers have a gear reduction drive that will that the that reduces the auger drive, and this reduces the motor's speed from once 1725 rpm to 9 to 16 rpm and the auger and freezing cylinder have to be inspected and removed to look at the interior of the evaporated freezing cylinder or evaporate and a you have your service technician which is inspecting the freezing on in an ice flaker and b you have a service technician removing the auger from the freezing cylinder of the ice flaker and here you have these drives which are maintenance free however if water enters the gear case it has to be disassembled and inspected and there is a coupling between the auger and the output output of this sh output shaft of the gear reducer and the bearings can are either a sleeve bearing or a ball bearing and the bearings are high wear item and it, the annual inspection is recommended and obviously you have to consult the manufacturer's manual to become familiar with ice machines and you, you can see the water reservoir and the gear drive and they are instant they have the insulated evaporator and the ice chute delivers ice to the storage bin as you can see in this picture and here you have the gear motor assembly which is prone to failure if any other part of the ice flaker be ice any part of the ice flaker if the pressure if it's high pressure and it's putting on stress there we go and the auger will the and the auger turns and extrudes ice and the gear motor senses the strain and when this happens the manufacturers use a one type gear assembly and this means it's open to the atmosphere and this is it's important that the auger doesn't wobble with the within the freezing cylinder or the evaporator because like it because again it will probably cause damage to the system and you will need to be it will need to be replaced and the sleeve type alignment bearings are made of a slippery poly material with a graphite graphite base to keep it together so that's it and i'll see you in the next